The Oklahoma Center for Humanities is getting ready to host several events this month, including the first Friday Art Crawl. This afternoon, Sean Latham is with us to talk more about what everyone can expect. So everybody right now, grab your calendars, pull out your phone with your calendar app. Let's start with this Friday, the Art Crawl. What can people expect? Well, it's first Friday. This will be again our now our second or maybe third first Friday in our new space at 101 Archer. TU took over that big former the, the Hardesty Arts Center is, is now the University of Tulsa and we've got all of those galleries filled with some amazing stuff and this Friday we're particularly happy to be featuring um, some work that Gilcrease is doing so uh, they've put together all over the city they've put up 30 different copies of a single painting called uh, An Island of Red Buds in the Cimarron by a Pawnee artist named uh, Burnett Echo Hawk which he actually painted with a Bowie knife it's a beautiful painting wow. so you can see these things all around the city and we're going to do a really fun sort of art exercise when you come into Gilcrease we won't have Bowie knives for everyone but people will be able to come in and make their own painting of Redbud. I think it'll be a really fun That's experience. so great. So you'll also have something planned for this Thursday with public health scholar Stephen Thrasher. What's the theme for this event? Uh, this is a really interesting guy. He was actually a writer and a researcher for Saturday Night Live. At the same time, he was getting his PhD at NYU uh, in, in journalism and public health. And he wrote this amazing book called The Viral Underclass, which argues about uh, that, that that uh, that epidemics aren't really or pandemics aren't really medical uh, experiences or not solely medical experiences they have really important social and political impacts as we've seen and so he'll be talking about ways to think about epidemics now not as just biological experiences in our bodies but as social things and if once we see it that way we can begin to treat them and understand them much more effectively than we did say COVID-19 or HIV AIDS. What an interesting conversation I'm sure that will look like. I'm counting on him for some good jokes. If he worked at Saturday Night would, Live that right, would be good. Right he's got to have a great sense of humor about it I mean that's what kind of pulls get through some things yes. <laughs> and later this month y'all will have discussions planned over a couple of books. Tell us more about each of those and what conversations we can expect to have. Yeah, next next uh, next week we're really excited to welcome a, a Pakistani American writer named Moshin Hamid. Uh, this is a really fascinating guy. He has a law degree from Harvard. He has a business degree from Yale, I think. Uh, and he has written, he's also this world traveling novelist. Uh, he wrote a book called uh, Exit West, which was the common read at the University of Tulsa. So we sent a copy of this book to every incoming student at the university this year, and they've read it. And he just wrote a new and very controversial novel called The Last White Man, which sort of imagines what would happen if we all fell asleep one night and race essentially disappeared, or at least whiteness as a race disappeared. So this is a sort of science fiction speculative novel about what would happen if we stopped thinking about race as one of our core cultural identities. How interesting. You know, we, we talk about this every time that you are here. Y'all offer all of these events to the public. They are free. Why is that important to host these kinds of events? Well, the humanities are about exploring what it means to be human, and we don't think that's something that should happen behind a ticketed gate, that everybody should be a part of this conversation. We're not really going to understand each other as a community or as a group of people unless we can all come together freely regardless of your ability to pay. So the university is always committed to being the heart of the universe, I mean, being the heart of the city of Tulsa by making almost all of our events free and open to everyone. That's wonderful. Okay, real quick, how, we threw a lot of information that at everybody about all the things that are happening this month. How can people find out more information? You can always learn more by visiting us online at humanities.utulsa.edu or just Googling Oklahoma Center for the Humanities. If you want to find us on Instagram, Twitter, all those other places, you'll find our everywhere. calendar and everything else. Awesome. Well, Sean, it's always great to see you. Thanks, Thanks for being Tina. here this yeah, afternoon. Appreciate it.